Welcome to the online video series presented by Structure Studios. This video will cover the AutoCAD import feature. This video will review how to import AutoCAD files into the software and the various features available. It's important to have first watch the basic training videos to fully understand the techniques reviewed in this video. In this example, we've already drawn our house based on the measurements we received in the field. Let's load an AutoCAD file in Stage 1 Project Information by clicking the AutoCAD button. We'll then select the AutoCAD file in either DWG or DXF format and choose to open it. Once we do, we'll see a split screen view. The top screen will be the shapes drawn in the software, and the bottom half is the view of the AutoCAD file. As we zoom and pan in either view, we'll see the two views match up. We can move the purple crosshair to make the two views line up perfectly. On the bottom half of the screen, we're lining up the purple crosshair on one of the corners of the house. We'll do the same in the top half of the screen as well by simply using the Move tool to move the crosshair. Once we do, our two views are now linked together. When we import shapes, we'll know they'll appear in the correct location. Now we'll review the various buttons found in the center bar. The Pan tool works just like the standard Pan tool, and we can use Center Click. Zoom works the same as well. We can use the Center Scroll Wheel instead of Zoom. Zoom Extents works the same as well. It will zoom out to cover the whole project, or if we select a specific shape, Zoom Extents will zoom to show us that exact shape. These controls work identical to how the controls work in the top bar. Next, we have the button to hide or display the purple reference point. As we click it, we'll see the reference point appear and disappear. Next, we have the setting to lock or unlock the views. When unlocked, you can pan and zoom independently in the top and bottom views. By default, they'll be locked and pan and zoom together. Next, we can load the AutoCAD file as a background image. Instead of importing the lines, you're welcome to draw on top of the background image. For example, in the house stage, we can see our lines perfectly match up with our AutoCAD design when loaded as a background because we lined it up with the crosshairs. Click on the button next to the 2D, 3D button to revert it to the standard view. Lastly, we'll find our DWG units. You'll need to open the original AutoCAD file or ask the creator of the file what units need to be set here. We can choose Common Settings or type in a custom value. In the bottom of the panel menu, we'll find our AutoCAD options, which we'll review later. We can also minimize the CAD view without losing access to it and maximize it again as well. Lastly, the red X will remove the AutoCAD file from the design. Clicking Yes will delete the AutoCAD file, so it will need to be imported again. Choosing No will keep the file active. Shapes will not appear in 3D until they're imported directly into the top view. We'll do this with our pool. Once we select it in the CAD view, we'll see it's a dotted line. When we click the Import button in the middle bar, it now appears in the top view and is part of the project. We can see it inserted relative to the reference marker. We can now adjust all its settings and in 3D it will appear as a standard pool as if we drawn it directly in the software. In the bottom view, we'll notice the shape is now blue. Under our AutoCAD options, we'll see an option to change the imported object color so we know it's already been imported. We can also click on the color to change this to another color. We'll set it to bright red for now so it's easy to see which shapes have already been imported. Next, we want to import our hardscapes. It's important to move stage by stage and import a few shapes at a time. We've got a lot of shapes here, so to simplify, we can hide all of the layers except the one we want. We'll click on the one layer and see only our hardscapes. Now we'll select a few and click the Import button. It's again important to remember only to import a handful of shapes at once. Importing too many may cause poor performance in the software. With our shapes imported, 
we'll change our values. For example, we'll select them and set it to the hardscape value. Next, we'll click on each shape and choose what their height should be. We set our main hardscape to zero, and we'll adjust our raised areas. AutoCAD shapes will not remember what heights or values they were set to in the original file, so it's important once they're imported to do it in the software. In 3D, we see our project coming together. We could have drawn these shapes, but by importing them, we're saving ourselves time. Once imported, simply assign values in the panel menu, and they'll appear as if you've drawn them directly in the software. Sometimes the content that we import isn't perfect. For example, we want to import some planter shapes. We'll turn on the planter layer by going back under our layers category. It's difficult to select by having all shapes active, so this makes it much easier. As we select the planter in the lower half, you'll see that each segment is its own shape. This is how it was created in the AutoCAD file. When we import it, on the top half of the screen, we'll notice it's red. Red on the top screen means incomplete. How do we complete it? We can easily weld this together. Select all the shapes by holding Control with the Move tool, or do an Area Select. Under Object Modification, we'll click the Group button. This will weld our shape together, and when we deselect it, we now see it's complete. Let's go through that process one more time. We'll delete our shape, select it in the bottom view, import it, and then weld it using group. Now our shape is complete. The last setting is the Save Symbol feature. We like some of these plant symbols from the AutoCAD file, so we'll click the Save Symbol button after selecting one. Once saved to our library, VIP3D and Visterra users can now assign this to any of the plants in their project. Thanks for watching. For more information about AutoCAD, make sure to read the full AutoCAD help page. You can also find us online at StructureStudios.com, call 800-778-8996, and email support at StructureStudios.com.